Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Hill, IFL TV, in association with Magnus in my power with me. I've got trainer Don Charles. We're here as his charge, Derek Chisora, prepares to take on Dillian White. Just had the press conference, quite interesting to say the least. Firstly, how are you, Don? I'm always, do I'm always doing good. How are you? I'm very well. Where's the hat? We're used to seeing you. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kind of trying to uh, restyle myself, you know, phases. Right. Let's talk a little bit about the press conference today. Firstly, what, how do you think it went? How do you think Derek handled himself today in front of the media? Yeah, I mean it was quite subdued from both parties, from both fighters. Mm. Um, people were expecting fireworks, and they didn't get it. Um, I'm glad because you know the fight is already sold, as far as I'm concerned, mm. and there's no need for any antics or anything like that. Um, I thought both fighters conduct, conducted themselves very well. Um, is, um, I can only assume that's the silent before the storm. You've obviously prepared very well with Ian Lewis and for Dillian White. You know, probably know his style and watched more footage of him than you probably care to, to say. What do you expect from him against the Chisora? And how confident are you that you, you know what he's going to You know me, bring? I'm always a confident guy. I was confident that Ian Lewis was more than capable of beating Dillian White. Yeah, mm -hmm. and my, my mind hasn't changed on that. Yeah, Dylan was victorious on the night. He fought the perfect fight. He fought very clever. He boxed clever, and he was victorious. Yeah, but I was convinced that Ian had the beating of him. I'm still convinced that Ian has the beating of. Him. But there is that but. That but is you can't wear 20 stones and go into a fight uh, uh, to, to, to to contest. So we've learned that from from, from that particular fight. Um, did I learn anything new about about Dylan White? I've always rated Dylan. Yeah, he has a very good punch selection. He's with a very good coach in Mark Tibbs, and he boxed sensibly. He boxed the instructions. Yeah, so you have to salute them. They were victorious, and they are the champions. How but, are you finding your relationship with Derek Chisora second time around? You and him have got more of a father-son bond than sort of man and man and fighter, if you like, trainer and fighter. How are you finding him second time around? Yeah. Two questions that you asked me there. First one, the father-son relationship thing. You, if you go throughout the history of boxing, yeah, all the names, the people who went on to do well, they all have the same relationships with their fighters. I'm no exception, yeah? I do grow close with my fighters. Um, like I said, if you go back in history... Or, so it's like customer of... I'm afraid so. Emmanuel you, Stewart. You, yeah, you grow close to these guys, you know? Do you know? And... Um, uh, in terms of the second time of, uh, I think the, the 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 gap did us both good. Him leaving, staying away from me, me staying away from him. I think that did us a world of good because he's gone out there and ventured out there to to search if there was something else out there. That he clearly respects you. Sorry to interrupt, Don. He clearly respects you. There's been times where I've been in your gym and seen you two almost come to fisticuffs where you're sort of so passionate about what you're doing and sort of such so big characters. Does, has he still got that same aggression and that same tenacity? Because today he seemed very calm, very sort mm. of, very placid. Will we still get that same ferociousness come fight night? Yeah, you know, it's almost like, if you know me, I'm always comparing it to football. Yeah, if you remember <laughs> when Rooney, yeah. He plays for Man United, yeah? And yeah. um, so Alex Ferguson managed to, to contain that madness. That's what makes these guys perform, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you can't kill that. You have to keep that spirit burning. Um, he's matured a lot. What you saw up there is maturity, nothing else. Do you think that's shown in the fact that he's got someone a professional business standing in boxing running his sort of finances in the back now with Steve Goodwin coming on board to manage him rather than it being one of his family members or whoever mm -hmm. it was that sort of done his books. Do you think yeah. that'll be more of a help for him? There's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of factors and that being one of the factors is being managed uh, properly. As far as I'm concerned, this is my own opinion. Derek Chisora has never been 
managed properly in his career. And we've got a guy here in the name of Steve Goodwin who's doing that job. So that allows me to get on solely with the job that I'm good at doing, which is training the fighters. And I trust Steve, and he's um, doing a very good job. So far, we're, we're, we're gelling well, the whole team. How important is it for Derek's career, even going forward, if he wants to get himself back to world level contention, that he beats Dillian White? So do you repeat the question? Yeah, no. Worries. How important is it for Derek's career to, mm -hmm. to get that momentum so he gets back into contention at world level that he, he beats Dillian White? Oh gosh, I mean it's unmeasurable in terms of how much this fight. Every fight has, means a lot. This one in particular, because where we are, where his stock is right now, Derek, his stock is low, and losing, uh, losing has never been an option. Certainly, we're we we're, we're not going to lose this fight. Losing has never been an option, and in particular this fight. Listen, we can't wait for this contest. It really is a mouth-watering affair. So thank you very much for talking to our phone TV. It's good to get you back on the channel, and um, we look forward to seeing you in the build-up, no doubt. Thank you very much, Don. Thanks, James. Always a pleasure.